What's the weather yeah, like? Yeah, there? let's start over. And let's, let's actually take a little trip if we can't actually physically go. Weather-wise, we'll take you over on the map at least. Your World Cup weather forecast over in Lyon, 84 degrees. So that's going to be 11 a.m. our time, local time. It'll be tomorrow. Well, it should be this afternoon, I should say. So 84 is the high there today. And it is going to be a nice, quiet uh, weather day there, so not expecting any rain or anything like that. So that is a pretty good forecast there. We're going to be just a little warmer here locally as we rebound into the upper 80s later this afternoon. In the meantime, we are still hazy and very warm with this cloud deck that's been pushing through. We have a stalled boundary to our south, and that's really kept that cloud cover in place for us here locally. We also have had temperatures that have stayed in the 70s for the most part overnight. So as you step outside, you're going to notice this, that cloud deck still in place. And some of us have visibilities that have been below two miles. Could be a little bit of a concern when driving this morning. So remember uh, to use your low beam headlights should you go into any areas with that low lying cloud cover. We're at 74 now. Humidity is at 93%. As we go through the day today, we will have that mixture of sun and clouds. Some of us might even see those stray pop-ups with the heat of the afternoon. 86 degrees at 3 p.m., 85 at 5 o'clock, and then we stay very warm even into the evening tonight. Here's the latest on Future Track 13 as we walk you into the afternoon. We'll pause as we get closer to about 5 p.m. You'll notice that not everyone's going to get that rain today. It was slightly more widespread yesterday, which is why I made today the pick of the weekend. Still, though, can't rule out those stray pop-ups with the heat of the day approximately between about 3 p.m. and 8 o'clock. Once we lose that daytime heating, the sun goes down, that rain chance really going to diminish. In addition to that, we'll have high pressure built in from the north. That's going to push that stalled boundary even farther to the south, allowing for that dry air to return for Monday. We start off more comfortable at 67 and then rebound to around 86 degrees tomorrow afternoon. But as it will be mostly sunny, that drier air really will take over, so our muggy meter going to have us feeling a lot better as well. Dew point temperatures in the lower 60s, which puts us closer to that comfortable category as compared to feeling oppressive. So that's good news as we get into uh, well the first part of our week. Really, Monday and Tuesday not going to feel uh, too bad as we are closer to that uh, more comfortable zone. But then we head into Wednesday. It will heat back up a bit. Temperatures near 90. Heat indices closer to 100 again Wednesday afternoon in advance of another cold front that's going to bring some rain in late Wednesday into Thursday morning. And then again by Thursday into Friday, we're going to start to feel more comfortable as another round of some dry air returns for the latter part of the week. There's that 90 degree day on Wednesday to kind of break apart the week. Late day showers possible exiting early Thursday. The sun will be back out by Thursday afternoon. We continue with that sunshine for Friday into next weekend. Enjoy Thursday and Friday while that humidity level is low. Not going to be very long lived. We're already back to 90 and feeling more muggy by next Saturday.